everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about ceramic knee replacements and why this might be a good option for you. Everyone, so today we're talking about ceramic knee replacements. So what this means is the components or part of the components of your actual knee replacement of the prosthetic being made of a ceramic material or a metal material that is coated by a ceramic material. So when you think of most knee replacements, the vast majority of them are made of some sort of metal. So you're thinking titanium, um, possibly a cobalt chromium alloy or even zirconium or nickel. So probably the most common would be the titanium and probably second common would be the cobalt chromium. Um, I'd have to look that up but usually you have a metal component for your femur or your thigh bone. You have a metal component for your shin bone, the top of your shin bone or your tibia and then you have that plastic spacer that's made of a polyethylene. So that's the typical um, knee replacement surgery. Now something that happens and something that is highly debated but seems to be a phenomenon that is occurring and happens with some individuals is this metal hypersensitivity um, you can almost think of it as an allergy to the metal. So sometimes what happens, it's either just from the metal in your knee replacement, or what can happen is over time there are certain um, debris, certain breakdown of the metal components, very little, but little particles are able to kind of infiltrate some of the soft tissue around your knee. And this can cause an, a reaction, an inflammatory type of reaction um, causes a lot of pain, swelling, discomfort, um, can cause some loosening of the prosthetic potentially, um, just really something that can lead to poor outcomes from your knee replacement surgery. So more and more common now is that if you have the potential or some reason to believe that you might have this metal hypersensitivity is that you would want to get a have screening performed, so a metal sensitivity screening. And what this looks like is a dermatologist, a dermatologic consult. Um, you do the patch testing, so where they used um, different um, chemicals, different things, and they do little patches along the skin, and they're able to observe the type of reaction in those different patches to see how your body responds to, how to your skin, your cutaneous system responds to these different um, materials and components. And you also want to do what's called a lymphocyte transformation testing. And I don't know too much about this, but um, in my research that's something as well that you want to have performed to see your um, sensitivity or any allergy to these metal components. And basically you want to do this as kind of a preventative uh, measure. So if you have any reason to think that you might have a metal hypersensitivity, you want to do these tests, excuse me, probably do this testing before surgery to um, see if this is something that you want to be concerned with and possibly look at alternatives to the metal knee replacement components. Um, it also can be something that's done as a monitoring after surgery. So for example, you have a traditional knee replacement surgery, um, you have titanium or cobalt chromium components and you're really having a lot of pain, a lot of um, inflammation and reactions to the knee replacement. Um, this might be a possible differential diagnosis to kind of get a better idea of what might be causing these symptoms. So that's kind of the two different ways that you would look at that. So wrapping this all together is what we're talking about is ceramic knee replacements. So now there is an option well, not now, it's been available for a while now, but to have a knee replacement, have the components or some of the components composed of ceramic materials instead of the metal materials. Or another option is to have a metal um, prosthetic, metal material, but then it is coated with this ceramic material. And the idea is 
that less of the breakdown, so if there's little breakdown over time of the components of the knee replacement, the ceramic part is going to not have as significant a response from your body. Your body's not going to have this aggressive biological inflammatory response from the debris of the ceramic components compared to that of the metal components. And they've done some, some research and they're showing that the ceramic composites, the ceramic components of a knee replacement, they've been shown to be have good strength, um, good durability and uh, toughness, uh, low resistance to scratches, and um, just shows that overall the breakdown and wear of a ceramic knee replacement component compared to the metal components that are very common is relatively equal, relatively common. And the little particles that break off from the ceramic knee replacement, if you're someone who has a metal hypersensitivity, metal allergy, your reaction and your body's inflama inflammation and reaction to the ceramic particles is going to be much less and much less significant compared to the particles from the metal components. So a very good alternative option, especially if you're someone who has, for whatever reason, um, you might believe that you have a metal allergy or a metal hypersensitivity or that you've gone through the screening and the testing and it shows that you might have this hypersensitivity. Um, so obviously something very important to further discuss with your surgeon, with your surgical team, if this is something that you might be concerned about, um, very um, worth your time to bring up and discuss with your surgeon. Thank you very much for watching everyone. This has been the Need to Know Show. Please, if you like our material, click that little subscribe button. If you're checking this out on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, our free group with content posted daily. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your day.